Hi guys and welcome to a new series where I'm going to be colonizing the whole system in Kerbal Space Program. Now we're going to just do this in sandbox mode because then it just skips all the boring parts. And I have got a bit of a confession to make. I kind of forgot to record so I've just built this shuttle without pressing record. But anyway, let's get on with it, and this UI is very in my face, so I want to try, can I change the scale? Oh, it did work. There we go. So I haven't tested this yet, all I did was build it, and I have the payload in at the moment. If you have a look here, which is just a heavy fuel tank full of fuel. Just because this is going to be our first mission, we are going to send a fuel station into orbit first. It's just going to be unmanned and there for future missions. But what I want to do is just test this shuttle and see how well this thing... Jesus, that was... that was fast. Oh my god, this thing is fast. <laughs> I mean... oof. Now, is it using the, the fuel tanks inside? Yes, it is. I didn't mean for that to happen. Right, I want to turn the fuel off and see how well this thing behaves. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to ditch... I'm going to ditch the payload. think I think we'll ditch the payload by hopefully just turning upside down oh no that exploded <laughs> right so we've run out of fuel let's try and get rid of that yeah there we go that's fine right now we've got a good idea of what it's going to be like when it comes back down and we'll get these to go full pitch just so we'll have plenty of control there we go so we're going to have the idea that we'll have no fuel and we need to try and land this thing we are going to be very nose heavy, aren't we? Ooh. Yeah, we're still very nose heavy. But can we land it? I mean, it is starting to kind of level out I suppose all it has to do is glide down so oh I don't think this no this is definitely not gonna work definitely not gonna work oh no I mean hey we survived <laughs> I didn't expect it to survive that. I'll, I'll be quite honest. I didn't expect it to survive. Right, so that is way too nose heavy, which we already knew from these anyway. So, can we get some extra lift at the front? That might just fix everything. If we can get some big lift at the front, just put some big wings on. <laughs> No. If we put some small winglets on the front, like so, and then them there, which also have control. Let's 
Let's see how that is. And then we'll chuck that up into the air. <coughs> what I think we'll do, we'll... We're hopefully not going to be using much fuel in, in here. So I'll shut them off. So we'll just to get up there, it can... It just burn the payload fuel. Get rid of that. Hey, that took off really quickly. So if we open these... Open. Right, we'll just get rid... Get rid of this. There we go. Oh god, we're spinning. Let's not spin, please. And we'll close these. There we go. If we set these tanks on again, just so we can regain some control. <laughs> Because we're at the moment we're just doing a, a tail stall, which is not good. Right here we go. We're actually getting some control back. Let's cut the engine. See, we've got no fuel left. Let's see how well. Getting a screenshot there. Right. This seems really light actually. This it feels like it's got plenty of control compared to the last um last test. I think we've actually got a lot of control here. Look at this. It's actually wanting to keep flying. This thing just wants to keep flying. It helps that we've got fuel in the back as well. That really helps. Right, let's get the landing gear down and try and land this thing. I think it looks really cool with the two fins at the back there. Right. This might go really well. He says. I mean, we had a hefty payload there. But we want to disable that cross feed because we really don't want to be using the payload's fuel if we're start up these engines ooh come on one wheel down two and three look at that that is a job well done I think Kelper 1 is ready for launch so Let's get to designing the actual rocket part. So Kelpa 1 is ready. I'm so sorry that I forgot the the whole um What do you call it? The whole building of this. I am really sorry. Right, one thing I did forget. I haven't got on yet is some RCS I mean we've got the RCS tanks we might as well have the thrusters right um, do, 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 do. one there we'll get one right under here and then we'll get one 
here. One here. And then two on there. There we go, Kelper 1. Right, so what we need to do now, switch over to the vehicle assembly where we are going to try and design Kelper 1 launch. Let's see that in here. We are going to try and design the launch part. Uh, start retracted. Start retracted. Oh, also, have you seen my flag? I've got the flag in, so that is pretty cool. I wouldn't really call it flag. Um, what do you call it? Uh, yeah. Right. So, decoupler. We'll go for the big one. And then we need a huge fuel tank. The biggest fuel tank. Is that the biggest? I think that is the biggest now, isn't it? Do we want... No, I don't want two. <laughs> want that one up there. Um, that, so we can put the nose cone on. How big do these nose cones go now? Oh, they actually go... To the full size. Nice. I like that. Fuel tank. We are going to put on this. So then we can use a beefy engine. And get some side boosters. Do we want to go for the big decouplers again? I think we do. And then... Didn't we get new SRBs? Sure we did. Uh, somewhere. What's that one? That one's pretty big. What about this one? Nah. This one? That is... Now that is what we need with, oh god, the action control wheels and a nose cone, not that nose cone, them nose cones. So, if we have them all firing together, is that going to produce enough thrust? No. If we have this one... Firing all three together... Should we just go all four? That'll have enough thrust if we get the f the fuel from where is it? Where is the fuel line? If we put this into here, that might actually work. If we save that, we've got to strut this thing up. Strut it up real good. Last thing we want is this thing. <laughs> shake, shake arson around. Right, and then what we'll do on this side. Where's the structure clamps? Launch clamps. I want it to go radial. 
Is that going to interfere with anything? It's going to be close. Oh, God. Didn't mean to do that. I mean, that's okay there. If I get another two and put them out the way, sort of, like so, and then two, like so, that is good. We'll get them in again, and them in again, with the two of them. And then we we'll want the SRBs to come off. And then that to come off, and then what's that? That's the other two engines. Right, let's... Do you think that might work? That might work. Should we give it a go? Why not? <laughs> what have we got to lose, right? We have got a lot of weight on the back side, where, like, in the... In the... Hangar area, so well, that's going to be a bit scary. This thing is going to topple over, let's be honest. What is the guarantee this thing is going to topple over? I think pretty much 100%. Let's just go for it. Oh! Oh! That actually didn't... Happen as... I thought would happen. Let's bring that down to 25. I think they were too powerful, them engines. If we try that now, maybe it might be evenly matched. I'm hoping. Here's to hoping. Right. Full throttle. Go. Oh, now we haven't got enough thrust. Barely. But that looked pretty evenly matched in terms of um in terms of power. Let's bump these two up to 30.5 40 50 oops didn't want to get rid of that engine we'll bump this up to 50 as well There we go. See if that will rotate here. See if and launch. Let's see how well this does. <gasps> Complete failure. If needs be, we can use some of the fuel. If like if fuel's a problem, we can use some of the payload fuel. Can we? Is that cheating? I'm going to get a quick screenshot though. There we go. Right. Full throttle. Launch. Oh, them friggin' launch clamps. <gasps> right, okay. Okay, let's move these down. Let's try that. Oh, the wings hit the other one, didn't it? Yeah.
We'll try it anyway. Why not? Yeah, it just hasn't got enough thrust, has it? Needs more thrust. Plus them launch clamps uh, dramatically in the way. I'm thinking we'll just stick them onto here, you know. Do we really need four? Let's just go for that and see what happens. <gasps> oh, This will be fun. It's probably going to explode on the pad now. Unless by a miracle it survives. Ooh, that's, that's, ooh. Ooh. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, um, that one didn't happen. Let's pretend that one didn't happen. Radio, we'll put them on there like that. We'll see if that, and we'll launch. There we go. Should do right. Yeah. Maybe. Are them launch clamps even clamping to anything? Let's see why they're not clamping under anything. Maybe it's because they're too... Are they just coming off straight away? I think we'll clamp it to the main body there. Because otherwise they're just coming off straight away. That's probably the issue. This is probably not going to even get anywhere near orbit anyway. Let's be honest. I mean, them, it's them clamps. <laughs> okay, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. We're going to set these to have a bit more thrust. Wait, why did they go back down again? I don't know. We'll leave it at that. 41. 0.5. See if that lifts us above the clamps. And hopefully not tilt us too far forward. If anything, I thought this was going to tilt back, not not the opposite way. Right, we're over the clamps. Now we have too much thrust. Maybe. Just maybe. Have these got a gimbal? Yeah. Let's lock the gimbal. On these. Try that. Because it's gimbling over, isn't it? I was hoping to get this first mission finished. Obviously, this is going to end up a two-part. 
Definitely going to end up with two power. Why did I go for the difficult option? Why didn't I just go for this bog standard rocket? That doesn't require balancing the thing. Center thrust, right. Let's turn these back in. But then there's not enough thrust to weight ratio. Maybe. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that one. Maybe if we just get a more powerful the engine there. Don't know if that is the more powerful one. Twelve. Go with that one. E five. Let's go with this. No, that's less. Stick one of them on. I mean that. Might actually work. Let's just give this a go. <laughs> What have we got to lose here, people? Oh, I didn't put more clamps on, did I? Or is it going to be fine? Oh, no, it's fine. Right, okay. Launch. Okay, that's promising. Okay. Oh, stop. I really need to turn off... Off them. I'm pitching the wrong way. Pitch back, please. Here we go. Pitch back. Pitch back. God, this thing's hard to control. I mean, it's working. Too early to say that it's going well. <laughs> Whoops, this is getting up. Now, the problem's going to be once the SRBs run out. That is going to be where the problems arise. Definitely. So we're probably just going to flip out, aren't we? Get rid of them. Oh. Wait, what? Let's turn over more. So we're getting pretty high. This is actually... Wait, I'm actually, this is working, <laughs> what is going on guys, why is this working, this does not happen, this does not happen often, why is this happening? Why is this happening? <laughs> okay, we'll cut the thrust there. We're going to quickly um, 
Can we pause and make a maneuver? No, we can't. It's not similar rockets, guys. Add a maneuver. Pull that back that way. There we go. To the maneuver. Burn time 50 seconds. Guys, this might actually work. What is the chances of this actually happening? <laughs> very slim. Very slim on my channel. Things don't go well. Ever. Like, ever. The SRBs are going to die, but we'll, we'll change that on the next iteration. 25 seconds. Let's go full burn. Oh my god. Please see us stay sturdy enough to complete the burn. Let's just hold it steady rather than following the maneuver. Because you're going to keep trying to flip out, aren't you? No, well, let's try and follow the maneuver then. Since you don't want to keep steady. Um. What? We actually did it. We actually did it? <laughs> oh my god. How was that even possible? Right, you know what? Let's get rid of this tank, please. And then... Let's get away from the tank. I actually can't believe this is happening. It actually worked. Right, let's go. I think we'll want to raise this to around a hundred. A hundred. Um, that'll do. So if we head to that, please. Can't believe this worked. What? Just what? <laughs> oh. Right, warp to the manoeuvre, please. It's only going to take like 0.3 of a second to finish this burn, so not worried about that. We'll just walk a little bit longer. There we go. And then, yeah, we can get rid of that now. Then we'll want to bring the periaps up to also hit 100. Like so. One second burn. Oh hey, there's there's another launch site now. I thought there was only the the Wingru one. Desert Airfield launch site. Oh, haven't played around with that one yet. K 
Okay. So spin it around. I think we've got time to finish this mission and get it landed. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully. <laughs> Electrical charge. <gasps> How did I completely forget about electrical charge? We need to get some um, solar panels and batteries on this. There we go. 100, 100. Let's turn it round. I completely forgot about electrical charge. <laughs> oh god, we're going to run out of it, aren't we? Right. And then, we're not going to need all that fuel, so what we're going to do decouple that go back to the spaceship oh no docking mode down down we we'll go so we'll leave that up in there open space There's a full load of fuel for our next few missions. Close and close that. Right. Now we just want to turn retrograde. Where's the airfield? There's the airfield. Right. If we turn retrograde now, we're going to overshoot, aren't we? Whack the engines on. Full power. Let's get some electric charge back. Um, oh, we've run out of fuel. That might be a problem. Get rid of SES. Just so we don't waste more fuel. Um, electric charge, sorry. We need to be able to land this thing, after all. Quick save. Right. Let's get in the atmosphere here. This is nerve wracking. How are you feeling, guys? Ecstatic. <laughs> Ecstatic. I'm really nervous. I don't think we're going to make it. I really don't think we're going to make it. It's going to be close. And we're in the dark. Why? Why we're in the dark? If we make this onto the launch pad, I'm going to be amazed. Not launch pad, um, runway. Got we're coming in hot, coming in real hot. I should have put some speed brakes on this thing. That would have been wise. Oh, 
Oh, we're getting really hot. We're getting really hot. We're getting really hot. Oh, no, 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 no. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, no, no, no. This might not actually be too bad. We've got past the heat problem. Guys, I think you're going to make it. I think you are going to make it. I'm going to be honest, this is the first successful spatial mission I've ever had in in any Kerbal Space Program or Simpler Rockets. Oh god, I don't want to snap the wings off. But I'm coming in a bit fast and I need to turn around. God, look at the G4s. <laughs> Ooh. Come on. Go. Cool. Come on, we need some height. So we're not landing in the sea. Oh god, we're too low. I think this is going to be a ditch into the sea. I came in way too low. I didn't realise I was that low. Oh, could I make it to the land over there? Can I make it to the land down under? <laughs> I'm not going to make it back to the space centre, am I? No, I'm definitely not going to make it to the space centre. Oh god. Time warp. It's not your friend in this sort of situation. I don't think it's going to be your friend in any part of this situation. We're going in the sea, guys, I think. Yep, we're going in the sea, guys. At least we know we can sort of survive in the sea. If we hit the sea. Now that. I call that a successful mission. Recover the vessel. Let's take a look. I know it doesn't really matter about recovering because of the... We're not in science mode or anything. But, there we go. I call that a success. Apart from our landing got a bit mismatched. But there we go. Here is our... Kelper 1... Fuel station in orbit from a space shuttle. I am impressed. I hope you're as impressed as I am. <laughs> Station couple one fuel. And not only just not only any orbit it is pretty much perfect. That, I think, is a job well done. With a lot of fuel. How much fuel have we got? 4,000 fuel. That is a job well done. So, guys, if you enjoyed this one, please leave it a like and a subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.